The first example we are going to code is an example of an inject annotation. This annotation is used as uh, its name suggests to inject one class into a client class. To use inject annotation, the first thing you need is to create a bins.xml file into webinf directory. Uh, this effectively turns on CDI and allows the uh, inject annotation uh, references to work. With no webinf slash bins.xml file, no injection is possible. So let's start by creating this this file. New file. And uh, we only have to uh, set the bins uh, uh, tag. Only this, nothing more required. Then uh, we are going to uh, create a really, really um, easy example. We've got an interface called greetings, which uh, have a method with, that is called say hello. We're going to create an, an implementation, for example, greetings from CDI, which of course implements greetings. And returns hello from CDI. Now we open the previous servlet and we're going to inject greetings from CDI into this uh, servlet. So we create an instance of greetings. And we use the inject annotation. Excuse me. Now, okay. And now we change this part of the code, calling the greetings say hello method. And now, if we run the servlet. Hello from CDI appears on the screen. Note that the instance of uh, greetings, in this case, uh, greetings from CDI, is created and injected by container. So we don't have to worry about managing the life cycle of the injected instances nor to set it. We're going to explain in more detail in next videos how to manage the life cycle of, of that objects. But for now, it's enough to think that every instance has its own injected instance. Or uh, for Spring uh, users can think about prototype scope.